Good morning. We are here. This is uh, day two. We're in Dublin having some breakfast. So we had a pretty good night. <clears throat> and we're going to cross over uh, the island to the bottom side to a place called Glen Bay, where we're going to meet some people who want to buy log homes. We'll see whether they will buy or not, but we'll get to become friends with them and we'll talk about their project. So if it works out great, we'd be in Ireland and we'd uh, train something, have them put them together, or if not, we'll uh, just have a good time. That's our friendly host this morning. Morning. An Irish good morning. Here we are. This morning we are in Ireland. We just left our hotel outside of Dublin and we're driving across the island down the southwest corner or southwest area, a place called Glen Bay. And looking forward to meet Neil O'Sullivan. Before COVID, he had contacted us. I talked to him and emailed us. We had communication about it. Use the right two lanes to keep right onto M7 toward Limerick. We're going to head toward Limerick. But before COVID, uh, let's see, make sure I don't keep right miss my turn here. Here we go. <clears throat> there were actually five people in the UK, if I remember correctly. There was uh, several in England, Scotland, Wales, and Ireland who wanted to talk about log houses. And uh, then COVID hit and, and it, it, they all kind of went away, except that uh, Pat has been revived and wants to meet and talk about the possibility of some houses there with his planning commission person and see if they can get permission for the the building of these log homes so Neil and his uh, developer friend the countryside looks like Wisconsin and everything seems like home except the uh, I'm driving on the wrong side We got some windmills, but no wind. So we love green energy, but we've got to have some wind to power them. So right now we're just keeping on using good old petroleum. We're coming into some hills or mountains, very nice and timbered. This is beautiful. Limerick. Right, this cute bridge. This is Glen Bay, Ireland. Here's where we're gonna meet our friend. And it looks nice here. We got the mountains. In a quarter mile, turn right. Meet Niels O'Sullivan. Here we come. LV. LV. Tafalt Road, LV. And that must be Gaelic. That's Gaelic. Tafalt Road, Coherent. We're going to And that means? That means you are welcome. Oh, thank you. And sir. you're Neil. I'm Neil. I'm yeah. You're welcome to Glen Bay, to Ireland. Yeah, and this is beautiful. Yeah. And uh, how, do you say, uh, how do you say your name in, in Gaelic? Uh, you have one name. Okay. Right. You can change your name. Your name is either Gaelic or it's. But if I was changing my name, my name would be Neil O'Sullivan. Okay. But but uh, um, you can never introduce yourself as the Gaelic part of it because that's not what's on your birth cert. But okay. People, but people do change their names, and Neil O'Sullivan would be my name in Gaelic. 
Wow. We just got here uh, to uh, meet Neil and to see what building sites there is here and what we can talk about as far as log homes, mm -hmm. if there's a possibility. So here we are. Yeah. And what does this, the word mean of your house? Kian or? Kian or is... Um, Kian or? Kian is the Gaelic for head and or is the Gaelic for gold. It's the same color as the as this. And gold, Kian or means blonde head. And it's it has connotations of, uh, in relation to folklore of Ireland, what is that? Is that the name were, of a there, person? There were uh, uh, people in folklore centuries ago, and there was and they had mm. there was a history about them around here. Diarmuid and Grania. Diarmuid was the man, and Grania was the woman, mm -hmm. and they had a daughter called Neve, and her name was Neve King Or, Neve of the Golden Head. She was she had blonde head, and my house is called after Neve King Or, so I call it just Kion Or. Wow, so much history here. Yeah, centuries, millennia. Legends, they're yeah. all yeah. legends and, and folklore, yeah. you know, of warriors yeah. and kings and like yeah. Vikings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dark. And this, wow. this stone then is natural stone from a quarry. You probably know that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's natural stone. It's not manufactured, not, not manufactured. Right. Is everything in Montana wooden? Oh no, there's a lot of stone. They're using a lot more stone. Uh, not really too much for like just a house, but maybe they do like a stone at the bottom, and then timber or something on the top but stone is being used a lot mm -hmm. the walls the uh, floor but you don't really see this ever this is not, nice not, the, not too much there's a few but not the whole rock house mm -hmm. it'd be more of a decor a fireplace yeah. but uh and there's a lot of timber and log and holes. that slate also is natural slate love that's it from... we're seeing some stone roofs now but they're very un rare in our place we have to have those because of the the weather i mean the weather right. typically here is damp and, and temperate it this year was cold. different Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah so if you go dry. to the beach here now, you're looking right across at um, Newfoundland. Okay. Oh, really? That's your next. So if you swam about so two thousand miles, two thousand miles, yeah. you'd be oh. in Newfoundland. Wow. Do you guys raise a family? You got kids? Yeah, we have two, two kids. Um, one is the youngest is sixteen, and the other is twenty-three. Okay. And, um, wow. This is really and, nice. Uh, this is um, fairly secluded here. And I think there's a chance that we might be able to get some at the dead in here as a development. So it's off the beaten track. Now this is your property? And no, no, no. This, this is a property that, uh, of uh, a friend of mine okay. who's selling it and I have somebody who, who wants to buy it. And, the, yeah. and, and they, would, they would do the development. Now that's part, part of this as well is, 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 is Connage and it's that mountain up there. Okay. But, but I spoke to the engineer about it in the hope that we could um, Get something up there because there's a plateau and you can see it from the ground level here wow. but, but he says that, that it, it, it's, um, they wouldn't allow that that they just wanted to uh, for keep that that keep that public is that yeah, public the land owner there has a percentage of that relative to his holding but I, I will um i will show you that when we go when we're going by it okay. um, so so we, we'll have a quick look now at my, at my other land up there and okay. then i'll show you this as we go by it all right. Would you guys like some food or anything? A drink? That's uh, that's the other peninsula across the way there, Dingle Harbour. Dingle, I've heard Dingle, yeah, yeah. yeah. And if you go out there and go straight across, that's west. You go, to, we, are the, we are the nearest parish to New York. Wow. <laughs> so it's about, I don't know, maybe six hours flight as well. So. Oh, and uh, my, my, my brother who lives in Arizona owns the site next to me. Okay. And my brother who died has a house up there. We had a fish and chip shop in the village. And Ooh. we used to grow the potatoes here. Is the fish and chips still open down there? No, no, no. This is more, isn't there more of a mellow climate like a Seattle? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's mellow. Uh, yeah. Where it's, it, it's we, not. We don't, we don't get the strong winds here. You don't, get, you don't get hurricanes, tornadoes, no, no, hopes, and hopes. constant driving rains like Texas. Oh, no, no, no. Or the no, south, right? No, no, but we, we, we get, we get heavy rain. Rain, yeah. At times. One love home here. Yeah. Okay. Probably would be ideal, I'd say. I mean, we could in, there's an entrance there. We can walk around the entrance. It's your choice. Yeah. You, you can usually get permission for that yeah uh it's all completely hidden mm -hmm. you know you don't eco-friendly you know frames and mm -hmm. structures and everything so. so you've seen that our some of our comments on our videos mm -hmm. about uh oh you're taking the trees out of the forest what these people don't realize is yeah you know, we're all about the environment too i'm not against the environment we should uh educate people in ireland as well as america that mm -hmm. uh the, the trees that we use for our homes are actually stewarding the forest uh, we're taking far fewer trees out than we actually should. They thin them. It's all thinning, mm -hmm. like it stands too thick. They take some trees out 
so they can grow it. It spaces it out. There's less fire. So we're actually very environmentally friendly. And um, are you saying that, like, if we were building uh, uh, log homes here, that where where are we going to get the timber? Does that uh, do we get it here? No, he brings it. Oh, you the, bring what, it? Uh, the only way we would do it is at home in Montana. We preassemble everything from the first log in the bottom all the way to the peak. It's a fully timber structure the whole log wall. To us. Yeah, it's all preassembled. It's packaged and then put into a container, shipped to your nearest port, and come come to the site. And it's lifted out of the, the, okay. uh, the container. And then I would just have to have some structure instructions for it. We couldn't work here, but we could come here to instruct your laborers mm -hmm. how to put it together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that would be how that works. Well, Philip yeah. O'Connor was here the other day. He said he'd like to meet him, but he didn't, he didn't show up since. Typically, what size? Well, he's not here. He's in Dublin. Oh, yeah. well, typically, what size are they? You know, uh, every, we build but every size. To, but you're limited with the container size, right? Oh, no, the logs are all, all packaged in bundles. Okay. So flat so you could, such, you could. Yeah. We just shipped a house to uh, Idaho. It was five semi truckloads. Okay. You know, all in bundles. It was a huge house. So in, in, a, in case of a container, we put them in a top load container, hopefully, one at a time into the, and stuff it completely full. They have to have a crane with hooks and, and mm -hmm. take the logs yeah. out of sure. the container. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you two more. For more uh, locations, uh, yeah. Yeah, and then we go to see this time we get it. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a it's a big contrast from 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 being living in London. You know, and I used to commute back and forth every weekend, and now I'm I'm here most of the time because with the advent of COVID, right? They like I, I, you know, I, I, people realize they don't need to meet you anymore. You right. can talk to them on the phone, and right. you can be anywhere. So. So it's very hard to beat, but we have around here. Oh yes, this is you know, which way we go? You're going right there. Yeah. This is a wonderful place. Look at the flowers. It, is. it seems like driving through Ireland, everything is it's very rural. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, driving through and, and laid back, or it seems peaceful. You know? Yeah, it is peaceful. It is yeah. When we were colonized by the British during the famine, they would give you a soup. Her brother actually, we met there. Her brother owns this land, and, I, and um, he's agreed to let me get a right of way in there, make a road in there to the back of that house. And I have room for at least two over there, and it's a, it's a dead end as well. So, nice. we're, so we're going to step over this fence here now. Yesterday, I was about uh, 90, 90 yards, I, I reckon. So, is this the side here? Or this, this, is, this is the side here, over the fence. There. Over the fence? And the, the guy is uh, allowing me to. Um, to make a roadway in here and uh, then the entrance will be about one going in there and maybe we can probably get three in there because so I, I built those cottages my, myself and my brother built those cottages that, that was my land as well be okay. great this is awesome the view around here is amazing yeah. see that place now where we're, we're going to see Pat now also once you, when, when I was a kid the women from that part of the parish this it's the same parish it's, it's, we're going to Glencar this is Glenbe and it's part of the same parish. And when I was a kid, the women with their shawls, old women, a bit like the, the Muslims today. Are oh, the Amish? Yeah, used to, used to come, <laughs> oh yeah. They used to go over the hill there with their donkey and baskets. They'd have a big basket on the left hand side of the donkey and another one. And they'd walk down to the village and we had a shop in the village then. They'd come to do their, their weekly shopping once a week. The women would walk there from it, it was a two hour walk for them at least. So you Wow. So no that's that's a walkway now called the Kerry Way. And if you had time to do that, it would be an amazing walk. Wow. Through that through that little valley? That, that little gap? Yeah, through that gap then you go down the other side. And Pat McGillicuddy has a few old Irish cottages that he that he converted. He made a beautiful job of them. Wow. Right? As a greenway. Yeah, that's as, what you do at home too. As a walkway. He took all the rails lines out. Yeah. Cycleway. And, and it's going to be amazing. There'll be an, an extra one million people a year coming around here. Wow. And there's not enough accommodation for them. Right. Log wow. homes. And they take a Absolutely. If they started log homes in this area, it, it would become uh, it would become a real seller. It really would. This mm -hmm. is a great area for them. Mm -hmm. For our viewers, they're going to ask in the comments. I know they will. And that's, they ask good questions. They're going to ask, how are you going to build these? Do you come over and build them? So I'll just say this for the record. The way this would work is... At home in Libby, Montana, we pre-assemble all the log work uh, there from the first log all the way to the top. Dismantle it, put it in a container, bring it over here, take it out, and then one of us would come over here 
just to show how to put our our product back together mm -hmm. and to train the crew after the first one or so mm -hmm. then they're up and running so it would be an irish crew mm -hmm. that would be putting it together mm -hmm. natural or do they have to stop? Do you have to get like a fishing license in Ireland to fish? Yeah, you do, yes. Now what about animals? Any deer, any wild animals you can hunt? No, no wild animals. No, 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 no deer? No, there's deer, but you can't hunt them. They, they do stray along here because I, 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 I went close to hitting one on the, on the road one evening. They, okay. they, they travel, I mean, that would be about um, 20 miles for them to come. Would that be a red deer or like they, like what Germany has the stags and the red, uh, red deer? That'd be a red deer, yeah. But not as a secret. Hey, all these questions. <laughs> I hear you're McGillicuddy? Correct. Highest mountain in Ireland, the McGillicuddy Reach. Is that your name is on that mountain? Correct. It's all Irish. Irish. It's the real deal. We're, we're, we're tribes. We're strong tribes. Yes, I, we, I get that. My brother was in Saudi Arabia trying to get a, an electrical connection for a factory with a minister. And the minister said, no business until I know who you are. So he called up a map of Ireland and the McGillicuddy Reach. And the, the minister said, you must have a powerful tribe. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Is, you can speak the language too? Uh, he can, I can't. Oh, that's too bad. I can speak French though. What was I going to say to you? Oh, these, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wow, it's insane. Right, will we, uh, we get going, yeah? Yeah. And we're going to drive down to the bottom of the field. Okay, let me get the gate. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. You report to this. You're not serious. Yeah, please. So that's Hold one it. thought I have there. Down in that area there. Oh, wow. How yeah? many acres in here? There is 13 in, in, in this enclosure here. So that would be about six. Six homes in the, like in the forest. You don't side. need an acre here. You don't no, need no, you don't. But my thought was be put them in a circle somewhere, like up along, like that, and create an area. In the and so you can see the McGillicuddy Mountain. That's right. That, that one right there. Yeah. So we're looking at the highest mountain in Ireland, right there. No, it's over here. Okay, over to the left a yeah. little bit. That yeah. McGillicuddy Mountain. Yeah. Uh, and so, are you called Mount McGillicuddy or McGillicuddy Mountain? It's called McGillicuddy Reeks, actually. Reeks? Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, uh, in uh, Irish it, for mountain? It's. I don't know. Is it? Yeah. No, no. I mean, if you're if you're putting a stack of turf, you make a reek of turf. So it is some. There's some. Okay, a pile. Yeah, a mountain pile. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, in here, Neil, what I'm hearing from if they allow homes in timber, that would be yeah, uh, that very well, likely. Well, well yeah. that that fits the criteria there because they, they, he mentioned in a in a forestation situation. Yeah. And yeah. and that yeah. that uh, ticks yeah. that box there. Yeah. Footpath up that way. Yeah. That yeah. Oh my goodness! That over to Glenday. Yeah. For the fish and chips. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so working here, we're, we're hot and thirsty, so we go up, up there and walk all the way back to Glenway for fish and chips. You have to change your boots, though. <laughs> then you'll be hot and thirsty by the time we get there. <laughs> you get a pint when we get there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Guinness. That's why I hate it. I hate Guinness. This, I like is the, this is the only gate in this whole parish that doesn't sag. You actually have to push it down. <laughs> the yeah, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> well, stand on it. I still yeah. Oh, you do, yeah. So, see the signs? Yeah. So the top one is the name of the road. What is it? 
Jiraiya? Vale de la Vista Lago. Vale de la Vista Lago. Italian. So uh, I have I've made three roads. I have named one French, one German, and one Italian, and one of the tradesmen. So why did you do that? Do you Emily's know? cottage is just one here. She was an aunt of my wife's, and Sheila's cottage is farther in. We can go into it, have a look if you wish, just to see what what uh, level we developed. Yeah, sure. to. This is a The reek's not well. If you get hungry, you know, where you can go down there and get some lunch, <laughs> <laughs> like Abraham, you know, slaughter that, that goat for the, the Lord. Or whatever. <laughs> old look, new look, or not just no, it, on, the, on the one over here. We use the old look. Here, you just, here you just did a here you just did a pat, a little bit of modern thing, but on the, on the one over, Maggie's. Um, oh no, down there actually. Sorry, down there. Um, Americans book that up first every time oh. because it's got old iron beds. All okay. light fittings, all yeah. doors, everything. I want the view here. Yeah, well, this is, the best, this is the best view here. Wow. It's like a courtyard type of thing. Yeah. yeah. 350 a night. Oh. That's book solid until the middle of September. No way. Wow. The one over here goes 250 a night, and Maggie's, uh, sorry, 300, and the Maggie's goes at 250 a night. And you can see one up over in the mountain on the far side. That's 500 a night. This is probably a little yeah. farms up in the, in the, in the hills, foothills of the mountain. You're yeah. looking, you're looking south here, no? You're looking south. Yeah, south, south right? Yeah, south. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is not over here. So the people living there, they got wild lands, just go hiking in the backyard. Yeah. So this is kitchen, dining, living. Wow. Bedrooms. Yeah. This is. Don't show this to my wife. She want to come over right away. As we should. So you've got the views you've got here. Even in the winter time, when it's here, uh, especially, it's just beautiful. Wow. Yeah. This yeah. is beautiful. Like so you can sit up on the bed and see that. Oh. Wow. So would you ever think you're talking to a Walmart pensioner? That's who you are? <laughs> you work for Walmart? Yeah. In America? Right. Yeah. So let me tell you. See that mountain there? With that island sticking out of it in the lake? I don't see the island. You can see a little, it looks like a mound. Oh, okay, I see that now. Yeah, so I own 180 acres along there. On the other bank? On the other bank, okay. All that mountain going back along there, as far as Highland Lodge. Back to the lodge and the Highland Lodge. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, that's got, I'm, I've had lads in there cutting, have you got rhododendrons in America? We do, in East, Eastern US. Per, yes. Pervasive thing, so we're gonna clear all the rhododendrons and look at putting a few log cabins on there. Nice. They'll be exclusive. Only get to it by boat. Wow. Or honeymoon couples. Or helicopter pad. Yeah. Well, we have a helicopter over there. Okay. Yeah. And now, can you see it? You see the channel going up where you can see right. some white boats. Just, right. this, just behind that, you can and see the white paint of the, the helicopter. Between the trees. Between the two trees. Yeah. Gotcha. You can see that. You can. Uh, you look. Yeah, you are. There's a channel going up towards right. the houses. And then you boat can, ramp. Yeah, and you can see the white paint of the helipad right. there. Right. Yeah. Is that for emergency helipad for a medical or for private people to use to come private in? people to use. And the, the Coast Guard sometimes want to use it to, if there's two lifts. That mountain claims three people every year wow. without fail. And if they have a double lift, they go up, come down, ambulance takes them away, go back up again. When you see a lift, what, what's the lift? I've had this year, one or two. They've had one, I think, maybe no, two. No, why would they die up there? It's just, Pardon? I thought there's no snow here. Why, why did they die Oof. up there? there is, well, they, well, a couple of months ago, a guy just fell over and went down the, the steep. The slopes are oh, incredible. Oh, so it's, it's steep. Yeah, and oh. it's rarely in the snow actually that it happens. It's usually in weather like this. That peak is three thousand four hundred and fourteen feet. Uh, feet. Feet. So that's like our eight thousand foot mountains look like. Wow. Yeah, but of course we are. We're you're you're at sea level. Well, no, we're we're a hundred and thirty feet above sea level here. Right here. Yeah. Wow, okay, that's why the mountain looks so tall, but... Yeah. There, there's a joke that everything in America is big. This American pulls up to a, a tank for, for to get petrol, yeah? And it was a time when they had to do this, yeah? yeah. And the, your man left the engine running and the guy said, can you turn off the engine, it's beating me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So those green fields there, they've been reclaimed from that bog land. Okay, like swamp? Yeah. Down the bottom? Yeah, so they've... they've Taken off and churned it up, put topsoil on it. And boom. Yeah, it's crazy. Do you have the tractors here? With in Europe, they have tractors that and they still go. Uh, Ireland. Ireland. No, that's that. Shall we say alleged log cabin up there? Where is it? Uh, that great one. 
Yeah. Ooh. That's right. It's a touch of ooh. Is that Freddy your zone this? No. This man could put a shotgun out the window and say, get off my land. Do they have guns in Ireland? <laughs> There's more guns in this parish than the... <laughs> <laughs> And then they're all anti-gun, right? You can own a gun. You can own a gun. Yeah, but you've got a, it's a strict licensing regime. So there that's we a, are. That's like a long post, is it? What do you call a 2x4 here? We call it a 4x2. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, honestly, that's a fact. A 4x2. You're, you're serious. The 2x4 is called a 4x2. It's an inch and a three and a half like ours. Is, yeah, yeah, do, you have, do you have the same material? Yep. Just okay. describe it differently. Yeah. So we call it the big number first. 6x3, 6x4. Oh, for <laughs> that's fine. That's good. So, when you frame, do you use feet or you use meters in the factory system? Uh, I'd say probably generally metric now. Yeah, yeah because starting start to switch over. The younger generation don't, don't know what feet and inches mean. But yeah. you used to use that when the building your, your yeah, day yeah. was all feet yeah. and inches. Yeah. It just smells so country. I love it. I'm hooked, guys. So, when you go to Switzerland, it does. It does have cautious. Yeah, uh, Alpine. Well, you get hired as Alpine. I went to, I was in the village of Schindeligi, it's called the Bob Zurich, to meet some clients one time. And the restaurant, uh, I was there. Is it? Yes. Yes. Peaks and ranges. Yeah. <clears throat> you got some looks like spruce woods going up there. River bottoms, cows, and, and a farm, and rock outcroppings, and a tall peak, and a lake. It just goes. The, the variety is astounding. Yeah. Over here it looks like like uh, the moors of England. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it looks all this different landscape in one view right here. It's really incredible. Keep driving. So this bridge was built by my ancestors, the tailors from Wales. This is incredible. What year was this bridge built? Sweet Lord, in uh, 1800 and something. It's incredible. <laughs> ancestors. So um, they brought. 200 families in from Wales uh -huh. to do the mining for the iron yeah and uh, we just put up a plaque recently here to commemorate that you see oh, it here oh really right yeah. here yeah film that yeah film that is uh, you can see those three pieces of wood they're from the uh, original sawmill in 1944 and they, they, they used to gather the oak, mill it into square blocks for onward transmission into Killarney. To create the platform here, so we didn't have so, any... so just rear, rear, you can pack it for the couldn't fail, yeah. So, we didn't, we didn't... so this is dry stack, right? Yeah, that's okay. Come right in, come right in. Uh, so, you see that um, this set of whatever it is, China, China. So, in 1981, my business went bust, okay. absolutely bust. We were broke, uh -huh. and my wife got coupons from a supermarket and got a new set of pottery, put it in a box, and we, we, had, we lost everything, our house, our dog, our gun, everything. Yeah. And we were away for 40 years, and we came back, and she had that still in a box. No way. She doesn't like me telling the story, but that's part of our history. Beautiful. Interesting. Yeah. This is amazing, this room, these big windows. Yeah. Look at that staircase. 
I can't show this to Rebecca because she's going to want a staircase like that. She should have one as well. Nothing less. <laughs> Rebecca, you should have one. Nothing less. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted one in the house. I wouldn't do it. Wow. Look at this room. Rebecca, i got to bring you here to these people. Can you open this or not? Yeah, we'll leave that. You can, yeah. Always press. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you've been locked picking. Should be open now. Good. And that mountain right there is a McGillicuddy again, right? That's the reef out there, yeah. That's the tallest mountain in yeah. Ireland. So the proximity to the reefs in all the houses is quite uh, noticeable. And it's pretty amazing. Yeah. So what do you think of Ireland, Drya? It's been fun. Beautiful. It's yeah. just absolutely stunning. Can you hear the quiet if after I get done talking? Quality work. It is very well done. I grew up there. That was your place where you grew up. Yeah, my brother is doing it up now. Yeah. That's wow. a German that lives in there. Neil, what do you think about his landscaping? Isn't that nice? Very nice, very nice landscaping. This the is whole, incredible. The whole picture is good. And this is where he grew up, or right, right next mm -hmm. door. Mm -hmm. So for the economy out of half of them. We're having scones out here that Maggie made. A lot of walking into that. Yeah. We stopped beside the road to look at their backyard of Pat's and Maggie's backyard. So who put all those flowers in? They're beautiful. There's two and a half acres of flowers here and Margaret planted every bloody one of them. Wow. Herself. She did it all herself. While I watched and took care of my nails. because I Yeah. Had... <laughs> you have nice nails. <laughs> Look at that. Now my wife Rebecca back home in Montana, she is going to want a fence like that around the yeah. our, our thing in the front yard. We have a, like a bench yeah. and it drops off. You might've seen the videos. I'm not sure of our house. Yeah. She want, she want, she'll want this right there. I know she will, just you wait. And she want that kind of flowers around the perimeter. Yeah. And the views. And we got lots of I, I just, there. I had to see these flowers. If Maggie can do it, Rebecca can do it, right? Yeah, anything Maggie plants grows. That's Rebecca. Yeah. If she can do it, Rebecca can do it. Yeah. It is a beautiful backyard. Wow. You got some apple trees over here. Yeah. Look at that. And I got to see this little arbor. And you planted this orchard? I got to see this orchard yet. This little uh, deal here. Yeah. Rebecca wants one of them in her, her orchard. Now I go home and she's gonna have a honeydew list for me. <laughs> Old man here called Mikey Connor. He can barely walk. And I saw him the other day with a rope around his waist and a pole. He was towing a pole through the wood. Yeah. In sort of six inch steps. Is that great spirit? Oh, uh, that's awesome. Fantastic. Like a little wagon? Is that what it is? Huh? What's a pole? A wagon? A pole is a timber pole. Uh, a pole? Oh, a pole, like a, like a beam. <laughs> Uh, this is a newer bridge, not arched. On your bike. Yeah. And, uh, I was thinking after maybe that it could be gone missing for a month. Yeah. <laughs> if you went over the top, uh, you probably uh, landed in something. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Pat, uh, my pleasure is fun, and I can't wait to see you in Montana. Indeed. And once you come, you're going to take you around our property in an area like this. Well, <laughs> fabulous. We, it's not quite this nice. We got. We got. <laughs> quite the spread we don't have a spread quite like this but yeah. now take the top of our mountain and show you around excellent good, good stuff that. Right? yeah good that. Man. Good man. yeah thank you man <clears throat> is that fun. an empty plastic <clears throat> bottle i'll take it okay sure and dispose of it responsibly thank sure thank, thank you thank you well my man okay All thank right, you so much and uh, yeah. that was that was great cheers good luck with that the planning and uh thank you hope you're here hope hope for me soon let's get something going yeah. thank you i want to come back
Come to the beach. All the way up over there, drive the beach. Yeah, that is a long beach. But the thing is that we'd been under British rule for hundreds of years and it was a, it was a stepping stone to the future to get 26. At least you get 26 and then you can, right. you can think after then about getting about getting um, the rest of them. The rest of them, yeah. So the IRA is on England's side. The IRA? No, no. The IRA is the south. Is the south? The IRA was the Irish Republican Army. They okay. wa they wanted the whole Copty too. Yeah. Okay. There was no no compromise. Right. <clears throat> and the but the guys who went to London. It's called, it's called the Windy Gap. And this is how old? 1800s, you think? This one? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, 1800s, yeah. Okay, Elvi and Jaraya, uh, great to meet you guys, and uh, I hope that you ha will have good memories of uh, of our beautiful parish. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much okay, for the guys. tour. Okay, guys. Okay. Thank you. Our, our senses are overwhelmed. This yeah. amazing beauty. Yeah. And if everything goes well with the planning people and everything, yeah. we hope to be back and yeah. and do some log houses in this area. Yeah, yeah. But thank you for the tour. Such yeah, a yeah. great. Nice to meet you guys. And we welcome you to Montana. Hope you can get get right. to see us there. All right. Look forward to it. <laughs> God bless. Uh, okay, great to see you. Okay, Bye. guys, safe home now. So Cork, Ireland. Oh, look at that steeple. Wow, guys. Go to white angle. Look at that. Turn left onto Industry Street. We got this Cork right Island. Wow, okay. We're gonna have to check this out a little bit more. There's a big cathedral right over there. Fish and chips. Mm, pretty good. They just closed the park. We started eating in there and then they kicked us out. Middle of Cork, Cork Ireland. Yeah, Cork, Ireland. 